Uh, Harley, you're up in Mariba for what purpose? Uh, we're holding a, a raw vegan retreat. We've got a few people coming all over the world to uh, attend a seven-day retreat to learn how to heal and revitalize and thrive on a fruit-based raw vegan diet. What got you involved in the raw food movement to start off with? I've been vegan for many years, about eight years now, and I originally had chronic fatigue and Crohn's disease and asthma, and I met a doctor who maybe said, uh, Harley, you are what you eat, maybe you want to look at your diet before we medicate you, and uh, see if you can make some diet and lifestyle changes that may assist you in reaching your health goals. So I went vegan, and uh, that eventually led me on the path to a raw vegan diet, which excludes cooking. So can you give us an insight into what your diet would consist of on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. Typical day, you know, I'll do a few hours training in the morning and have some fruit with me. So I'm typically eating, on any given day, a, a minimum of about 4,000 calories. So that's typically you know, 35 to 40 large bananas. Or if I'm not eating bananas, that could be like you know, 20 to 30 mangoes or you know, even a couple of kilos of uh, those medjool dates in California. And you know, three or four liters of water, typically, a day. That many bananas, people think it sounds like a monkey diet. Yeah, a lot of people say, are you nuts? And I'm like, no, I'm bananas. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, but hey, I feel great. And people say, it must take a lot of discipline. Don't you feel like a roast steak or something like that? And I'm like, no, you know, I crave health, vitality. I crave a you know, world where people have enough food to eat. And I crave, you know, I'm an environmentalist and I'm an animal lover. And for me, animal love and they shove them in the oven. It's a nice saying. I think the banana industry is probably going to try and track you down in the not too distant future to do some marketing for them. But you're actually an elite athlete. Can yes. you run us through how this diet, how you can possibly have a diet like this and compete at an elite level? For sure. Well, I've won and I've won more 24-hour mountain bike races in South Australia than anyone, and I've finished on the podium more than anyone in the last uh, eight years. I've ridden over 160,000 kilometres as a vegan. I've cycled from Perth to the tip of Cape York. You know, approximately 39 days solo as a vegan. Um, you know, every cell in the human body is run on glucose, and fruit per calorie is the most nutritious source of calories for humans. Without question, it's the most sustainable, ecological, ethical, economical, and health promoting calorie, and it tastes great. You know, <laughs> when you've got some good, ripe bananas, and you make a smoothie, a bit of water, maybe chucking some dates there, it hits the spot perfectly. What's excluded from your diet? I consume absolutely no animal products, no cooked food. That's the definition of a raw vegan diet. But in addition to that, I consume no oils, and I consume no salt. And people might say, hang on, you're an ultra endurance athlete. You cycle up to 515 kilometers in a day, you win 24 hour mountain bike races, you run marathons, ultra marathons, and you consume no salt? It's like, yes, I don't. I get all my sodium content from fresh fruits and vegetables. So no sports drinks as you're running past the, the checkpoint? In my, when I do my ultra endurance events, I have my support crew, I make up, I just blend some dates with celery in water, and I have that at the aid station. So I make this, you know, I used to drink Gatorade, now I drink Datorade. <laughs> <laughs> and it works better. <laughs> you still do uh, convince me on that one, mate. But <laughs> Look, you've got a number of people that have come here from all mm -hmm. over the world yes. to hear you you're talking, to hear the seminars here and to to learn more about the raw foods movement. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is that's attracting people to this lifestyle, this diet? Well, I mean, people just want to feel good. End of the day, we do what we do because we want to feel better. And when you're healthy, it's easy to feel better. You know, it's easy to be happy when your body's getting enough nourishment, when you're getting enough sleep and water and exercise and sunshine. It's easier to feel happy. I feel I've got a greater participation in my daily reality now. I, you know, I just feel healthy. And it's, you know, I've got a few millionaire friends and they're like, Harley, you know, you're on the right track. I mean, most of us spend the first half of our life sacrificing our health to attain wealth. And then we spend the next half of our life sacrificing our wealth to try and attain some health. And my dad, he passed away from cancer, and so that's in my genes. So according to the New South Wales Cancer Council, you know, diet high in red meat you know, promotes cancers. So, I'll, you know, I went with the research. I read the China study, which is the most comprehensive nutrition study I've done on human nutrition. And their conclusion that a low-fat vegan diet best serves human health and that fruits and vegetables are the most nutritious foods for humans. Yeah, but there'll be plenty of nutritionists out there and also scientists and doctors and whatnot that'll argue against this diet, saying that you're not getting enough of what you need. For sure. I mean, I, I do my blood tests and, you know, I'm coming up A1. My doctors say, Harley, I don't know what you're doing. I wouldn't do it. 
but you're looking great, you're performing great, you're feeling great, and your blood pathology sheets, they're great. And my nutritionist friends say, Harley, if you can get that much money from the banana industry, we'll back them 100%. But currently, meat and livestock Australia, they're, they're pretty generous. Yeah, I can't imagine you're their favourite person in the world. But, um, I understand you, you. there's been a running track mode here at this property for this yeah. particular seminar. What's yeah. the purpose of that? Well, we know that exercise is part of a healthy lifestyle, and we encourage people to exercise. And you know, it's just when you when you're healthy, you want to exercise. When you you know, when you're eating enough good quality food and getting the sleep and water, you got to move. You know, we're, we're we're machines. The body needs to be moved and it needs to be rested at the same time. So we promote you know exercise. And I don't actually have a car. I'm 32 years old, and my goal is never to have a driver's license. Why? I just love riding my bike, and this energy I get from my life, diet and lifestyle gives me that, you know, stamina. So, you know, I'm doing up to 515 k's in a day, blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, so, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, you don't get enough protein on that diet, you don't get enough iron on that diet, you don't get enough carbohydrates on that diet. And I'm like, well, I, you know, I choose not to own a car. I'm not saying cars are bad, but that's just my choice. That, for me, that's a reflection of how much energy and vitality I have. I can go the distance. ในงานมหกรรมทุเรียนโลกอีกกิจกรรมหนึ่งที่น่าสนใจไม่แพ้กันนะคะได้แก่การแข่งขันกินทุเรียนค่ะและแม้ว่าในวันนี้ฝนจะตกลงมาบรรยากาศของความสนุกสนานก็ยังคงมีให้เห็นค่ะนี่คือมิสเตอร์แฮร์รี่จอห์นสันนักท่องเที่ยวชาวออสเตรเลียค่ะที่มีความชื่นชอบในรสชาติของทุเรียนเป็นอย่างยิ่งกําลังกินทุเรียนที่เจ้าหน้าที่ได้เตรียมไว้สําหรับผู้แข่งขันอย่างอร่อยโดยในวันนี้นะคะมีฝนตกลงมาอย่างหนักทําให้มีนักท่องเที่ยวเข้ามาร่วมงานกันบางตาเจ้าหน้าที่จึงได้ให้นักท่องเที่ยวที่ผ่านไปมาได้ลิ้มรสทุเรียนที่เตรียมไว้ในถาดผลไม้ฟรีโดยเลื่อนการแข่งขันออกไปเป็นสัปดาห์หน้าซึ่งส่วนใหญ่ค่ะกินคนละเม็ด2เม็ดก็อิ่มท้องแต่มิสเตอร์แฮร์รี่จอห์นสันคนนี้ตั้งใจมาแข่งขันโดยเฉพาะมิสเตอร์แฮร์รี่คนนี้ค่ะก็ทานทุเรียนหมอนทองจํานวนเครื่องกิโลกร,รัมคนเดียวหมดถาดที่เตรียมไว้เท่านั้นยังไม่พอเจ้าตัวบอกว่าอีกถาดก็ยังไหวเนื่องจากเตรียมตัวไปให้ลองแสดงความสามารถว่าทําได้อย่างที่คุยหรือเปล่าโดยมีนักท่องเที่ยวหลายคนต่างลุ้นให้กำลังใจพร้อมทั้งปรบมือเชียร์กันอย่างสนุกสนานแล้วก็ปรากฏว่ามิสเตอร์แฮร์รี่ค่ะกินทุเรียนถาดที่2หมดเกลี้ยงสมราคาคุยจริงๆแม้ว่าจะใช้เวลาเกิน4นาทีนิดๆก็เพียงพอสำหรับแชมป์กินทุเรียนประจำวันนี้เก่งอย่างนี้ก็เลยได้รับเสื้อสัญลักษณ์จังหวัดจันทบุรีเปกทองซึ่งเจ้าตัวบอกว่าชอบกินทุเรียนมากเนื่องจากเป็นผลไม้ที่มีรสชาติอร่อยนอกจากนี้ยังทิ้งท้ายไว้ด้วยคำว่าจะกลับไปออสเตรเลียชวนเพื่อนมาเที่ยวที่จันทบุรีเพื่อลิมรสผลไม้ที่สุดแสนจะอร่อยมาจากไหนแล้วแล้วเป็นยังไงชอบทุเรียนมากไหมอย่างเงี้ยฮะเขาเขาเขามาจากออสเตรเลียเขามาจากออสเตรเลียฮะแล้วเขาถือแล้วถ่ายเขาถือแล้วถ่ายเขามาจากออสเตรเลียแล้วเขาก็หวังว่าจะมาอีกในทุกๆปีแล้วเขาจะไปบอกเพื่อนเขานะฮะที่ออสเตรเลียมาเที่ยวงานทุเรียนโลกของเมืองจันทบุรีแล้วเขารู้สึกภาคภูมิใจมากที่เขาได้รับแชมป์ได้รับเสื้อเฮโลเหลืองนี่นะฮะโอเค again you're from Australia Australia what's your name my name's Harley Harley so what are you waiting for? Move to a location where you can eat the best fruit in the world. Why eat stodge and stucco? Why settle for second best when you can have the best? Don't justify your complacency to me or yourself or other people around you. Get off your ass. Go out there and get the best, man. You can do it. What are you waiting for? Anyone can do it. So can you. No excuses.